Hello everyone, I am Classic Gamer Les from Graph Channel Tech Video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows XP. I missed, I'm going to install Windows XP on a virtual machine, but this will also work on a desktop computer or a laptop. But the virtual box is going to be a little bit different, but it should work. Now, I do have Windows XP on disk, but I'm going to install it on the, again, virtual machine. And I do have an ISO file. But you can actually use the actual disk, or you can burn a disk, and that will work too. I recommend all Windows version. I'll show you what I mean. So, how to install XP, you make sure you install your part of the disk in, and the DVD drive. And I do have all Windows right there. The old Windows is have Windows 1 all the way up to Windows 2003. There's the XP, which is the server version. So I always have that in there. And you also put that in the actual machine. So I'm going to click start. And there it is, VirtualBox. For the old Windows, you just click 2. And OEM, you don't want to do that because now it wants you to do check in a project key. So we're going to skip that. We're not, we're not going to play project key. So Corp, I found out is the best option for me. I don't even know how to put it in the project key, so I'm going to press 1 for the Pro. First, Pro will give you more features than Home. It's, uh, may vary. So. While that's set up and starting Windows, I can tell you about the versions on the boot up. The boot up is the same for all XP's. This only the loading bar the colors is different. So Pro, I believe, is blue, and Home is green. So, grab the blue screen. I'm gonna press Enter, and this is the partition. So we're gonna delete. Both of them. So you just you just delete one if you have on the drive. So I just delete that. So right now I have 15 gigs. It may vary on whatever how big your hard drive is. So I do have another XP machine. It's running. I have an 8 gig hard drive in there, which it works fine. You can do higher than 8 80 gigs. Or it's, I have no problem with that. So we're just gonna press enter now. There's NTFS file and FAT file. We're going to do NTFS because that's the necessarily default for all main boot hard drives. So NTFS. FAT is most of the flash drives because paint FAT32. So you try to plug in a flash drive in the computer and format it, it'll set default FAT32. But for hard drives, NTFS. NTFS. So we're going to do quick. It's going to install British files on my computer because, well, VirtualBox. So, again, the speed of installing the OS may vary also. So, set up is copy files. And look how fast that's going. I ran the XP on the. Well, one time I ran the XP on the 90 computer before, and it took a long time to install. So yeah, this will take some t actually it won't take some time on the virtual thing, just be quick. Again, may vary on your computer. Your computer will boot in how many seconds, you can just press enter, just just skip that, it'll just give you more time, that's all it does. All windows, D, we'll just press enter, and look, it's blue. Professional blue. Home again will be green. I'll just show you. I'll show you a screenshot of that. And it's actually new. It's actually of different versions of XP's up there. There is a red vortex, which I'm running that on my retro gaming machine, which I love it. It just looks a little bit different. 
This actually the start button looks a little bit different as well. Which I have no problems with. I mean, it just feels and behaves like XP. And there's also Homo Pro, which I talked about. Excuse me. There's also a media version. So this will just uh, tell you about the uh, language and region. So we're just going to name it when XP. Your name. You can name or computer whatever you like. Password, whatever. Now this is your time zone. So, this is the time. We don't know your time zone. We'll have to save how it is. It's <laughs> no big one. Biggie, just, just pick one and just go with it. My time zone is Eastern, so I wanted the time to be exactly, and it is the correct time. So I'm going to click next. Go to the tropical settings. You can do custom, but I don't recommend that if you're not that advanced with installation with operating system, so we're just going to do tropical and just install everything that's recommended, which I, I always would do that. Work group. Actually, custom is actually very good if you have a hard drive that does not have a lot of gigs in it, so custom should be perfect, but 15, 15 gigs should be fine with tropical. Uh, nope, we don't want that. Click that. And something was missing. You may be wondering. Where's the product key? Well, again, we're gonna pick the OEM. The OEM wants us to do the product key and read the core. So, we're not worried about the product key. Huzzah. So, I'm gonna show you the screenshot of the product key and what I mean about that. So yeah, prodigies are not really that fun, but yeah. Because you have to look for, you have to do your research, try to find a prodigy for it, just type it in and blah 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 blah. Oh, that's a pain. So, Corrupt is the best option. I don't think that Rick Fortress should be a prodigy for that, you know. There's also a black edition uh, for XP. It's actually it's a pirate edition. I can recommend it. So I'm gonna press escape. Right there. And look how fast that is installed. To improve your appearance, this way, this part's okay because it just adjusts the screen. And if you don't see it, you just, again, you just leave it. Which I do see it, so I'll just press okay. So while wow, that's uh, loading, and there's another part. There's like basically like three parts of installation of one of the XP. Which I thought that's kind of funny. And we're on part three basically. Just all I just want you to do is add users. Which it's kind of nice because what I do like about XP. You get this nice music on the installation. None other app systems have that, or an XP have that feature, which I'll follow this right now. Yes, this computer will connect to the internet. No worries, press now, but again, I'll. Oh, gee. We're gonna press now to register. Now, this is your user account name. You can go up to. Five user checking. Actually, we got more, but I never went up more than five. Well, actually, I never went up more than four because my other video I have to for user account. I'll explain that later. But we're going to call this XP. Keep it original. And we're going to press finish. Now you probably wonder why. This screen revolution looks terrible. Why is it so small? Again, we're running on the virtual machine. It is it, not that bright yet. We got. We need to make it smarter. 
And again, for the actual computer, if you're using it on a desktop computer or a laptop, you have to find the graphics drivers. I'm not going to be able to show you that or how to install those graphics drivers. But I can actually show you how to install the graphic drivers on a virtual box. So, we need to go to devices and see this. Insert this edition CD image. Click that. And there it is. Just pop up. Plus, press next. And you just agree to everything. Actually, we can actually do the tricks 3D, but. Summer is actually going to want us to do that. What is. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'll do a safe mail for that. We're, just, we're not going to call it safe mail. We're just going to keep on continuing. XP thinks it's something scary, but this looks not scary. So, we just wanted to add a try to install that. Continue anyway. Reboot. Logging off, and we're just waiting for a reboot. Still waiting for it to reboot. Now, the thing about XP, I actually grew up using XP. It's actually one of my favorite RP systems until I found out Windows 10 is bad. I did not uh, fall in love with Windows 10. I thought Windows 10 was the best RP system ever. XP is still on my paper list. It's my second favorite RP system. And look at that. Full screen right there. I'm going to put myself right there. there we go. And uh, one more thing. We're just full screen right there. Right control. That will be right control on the keyboard. And there we go. So it looked like I downgraded my main computer to XP. So yeah. I think that's very cool. But, you still have this right there. But, oh well. So you got the full operating system right there. Properties, then they'll tell you what kind of process <laughs> AMD Horizon 5 600X. Wait, what? You can't, what? How? That's impossible. HP would not work on the AMD. This is actually it's a very good troll prank. It's a good for that, so that's your friendly. How is that even possible? <laughs> yeah, so, it runs fine. XP cannot even run on MD, price of 5, if I'm wondering. I don't think it actually will, I don't ever try that out. But I doubt it. But it actually will work on virtual box. Now, max RAM for XP is actually 4 gigs since it's a 32-bit RFA system. If you get a 64-bit of Windows XP, then you can go higher. But 32-bit max is 4 gigs. You don't believe me? Believe me? Go ahead and do some research. And 3.99 gigahertz, so yeah. It's very fast. And one core. <laughs> Basically, it's continuing 4 4 gigahertz. Alright, well, hey everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.